All right, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be diving into the starter plan of Viral View, all the different tools, different features that you can use to make more money to work smarter and not harder. The first thing I want to show you guys is just more proof that this works. As you can see, $368 from just two products found using Viral View. I'm going to be diving into on this video how to find products using Viral View. Um, as you can see, just all the different sales from these two products and how much they've made. Um, again, $368 just from two products is insane. So let's go ahead and dive into all the different tools. All right, so we are diving into the starter plan. We have everything that we have with free so that what we went over in the last video, um, the placement of the top and bottom carousel, the storefront scanner and so forth, we have all of those. And then we have some other tools. So let's first start with Product View Chrome extension. This is one of the best tools of Viral View. Um, you can use it in many different scenarios. So uh, we have my storefront pulled up. And the free plan, we talked about how you can scroll through it and look at data, you know, find good products and maybe re-review them uh, and so forth. But now what you can do is load Product View. You can either click it right here or you have this extension right here as well. Either way works. And then you can literally sort it from best to worst. So right here, you can see, just look at all this green just absolutely amazing products. I don't have to scroll through 1,500 videos trying to find the best ones. I can just look at it very quickly right here. And the reason why these are so good is because again, we got good daily sales, have good 30 day revenue, and then we have low competition, not a lot of influencers on the listing, and that can be found in this data right here, which I'm going to break down. So obviously we d still don't have access to total influencer videos, which we will dive into in another video, but we have what this stands for top carousel. This is top carousel merchant, top carousel influencer. So the top carousel, let's just click on this product right here. It says we have two videos. I'll just show you that example. We have, this is the we have the brand video and then we have my video. Then we have customer review videos. This is different. Um, if I watch this and buy the product, this customer, this like review video is not gonna get um, paid. These are not influencer videos. These are just normal reviews. So this is everything. So there's two videos as you saw. Um, two videos in the top carousel. One was the brand and then one was mine. And then in the bottom carousel, we have three videos. So we have two from the merchant and then we have one influencer video, which is going to be mine. And we can show you guys what that looks like if I scroll down, which we have right here. We have uh, the two brand videos. I guess the Amazon review showed up as the brand video. And then we have my video right here. So that is what all of these stand for right here. And as you can see, it's just very low. Like we don't have a full carousel um, on any of these products and that's why their viral score is so high. Like look at their sales, just absolutely amazing. And then look at how like just open these carousels are. So that's that's when it's gonna be worth it to, you know, scan your storefront, see which products are good, which products are selling well, which products still have open carousels. Or something that you can also do is you can do something like this. You could like sort from the highest daily sales and look at which products like sell the most or see which products have the best 30 day revenue. Like this is crazy how how much some of these products sell, like $4 million a month, $3 million a month. But you'll notice over here is the viral scores aren't as high. Now this product right here would be one that you just want to avoid because I guarantee the total influencer videos is just going to be crazy. Um, I mean, we got 20 in the, just in the top carousel. So, um, but I mean like a product like this, it might like, it's not great, but it's not bad, but the sales are really good. So you could come over and uh, try and make multiple videos and wedge yourself in a carousel. But that's when it's very beneficial to know the total influencer videos because we can see the top carousel is full with 60, sorry, with six, and the bottom carousel is full with 10. But we don't know how many other videos are, are there. Six is a full carousel. Amazon sometimes is weird and they will allow for more. Um, just... It's just Amazon being Amazon. But generally speaking, six is a full carousel. Um, so we have no idea how many influencer videos there actually are. So 
Is it worth it to re-review? I don't know. I would need to see the total influencer video count to know if it'd be worth it to re-review. But again, having access to all this data, being able to um, filter from the best influencer videos, we can even look at, you know, open carousels. We got tons of products that have like super open carousels. But if, I mean, if you sort it from like the least amount of videos, then you're gonna have products that probably don't sell very well like this. Um, so I think the best way to do it is sort it by viral score because then you'll just get a good combination of good sales, low influencer videos. You can also filter it and look at, um, do the same thing for your videos and not just scan the products, but scan your videos, um, which we will dive into in the next video because that is something that is part of the professional plan. But let's keep going forward with uh, product view and how else you can use it. So in the last video, I used the example of sheets. So let's go ahead and look at sheets again. Again, you can scroll through, look at this data, or you can use product view and just truly find the best of the best products. So these are going to be um, the best products right here uh, because again, the sales and low top carousel number right here, again, green, is gonna be really good, yellow is gonna be okay, and then red is gonna be bad. So if I was shopping for sheets, 100% would buy one of these, um, but that is a quick view of how you can do it with shopping on Amazon. And the last thing you can do is you could also do this to someone else's storefront and you know figure out what products of theirs are, are good, what products of theirs are bad, and just get all of this data, learn from them. Um, maybe there's a product that you wanna get that they have, and so forth. So that's a quick summary of Product View Chrome extension. Now let's dive into sales estimates. Um, we kind of already went over this with the product view, but now as you can see, um, you can see now what the 30-day revenue is. If I want to add on daily sales, we'll hit refresh. And now we can look at the daily sales as well. Um, we can go to my storefront. We can now see the 30-day revenue. If it says unknown, that means it's not doing significant enough sales for it to even be relevant. But again, this type of data is going to be crucial. Um, in the last video, I think I showed these two products right here, if you remember, and how this viral score was better than this one. And as you can see, the 30-day the revenue, it's not even doing any sales as of now. I think it's a fairly new product, uh, where this one is doing 10 grand a month. Now, that's not anything crazy, but it's which is why it's not like 80 or 90 viral score but because i'm the only video it's great of the ten thousand dollars in revenue that they do do i i will have a good chunk of that because i'm not going to be the only video on there so super awesome to have access to the sales estimates um before we dive into order history scanner let's dive into storefront spy so again we can uh look at trevin's videos and see where he is placed and if i had a video up where my placement would be. And what's kind of cool is you can see, he it says top three. And that is because there's going to be three listings that this video is in the top carousel of, which is super awesome. A lot of times when you tag a listing, Amazon will put your video on other um, products that are the exact same. Um, and then if I had a video, I'd be able to see my placement as well. So love storefront spy. Let's dive lastly into the order history scanner. Um, something that is cool with viral view is there is a web app with a tons of different tools, again, that are just gonna help you work smarter and not harder. Um, one of them being the order history scanner. Now you'll notice with the starter plan, you don't have access to the products tab, the videos tab, viral finder, ASINs products, etc. We'll dive into those in the next video, but let's dive into the order history scanner. Now I'm actually going to need to log into my other viral view account that has my um, storefront linked um, because as you can see, nothing is pulling up here because this account isn't linked to my Amazon shopping. So let me do that real quick. Now I'm in the account that is linked. If you have the starter plan, this will work, but you just need to make sure that your account is linked. Having your store Amazon storefront account linked is super beneficial because then you can quickly access your storefront. Um, it will remember your data really quickly and load it. Um, very quickly. You'll be able to use um, all of the features here. And so let's now dive into what the order history scanner is. So what order history scanner does is gonna take all of your purchase history on Amazon and it's going to show you all the products that you've purchased and let you know, hey, 
this product is good, this product is bad. So that way you're reviewing the best products. This tool is absolutely amazing. And not only does it work for the products that you've purchased, but you could go to a friend's house. Um, I could go, for example, to my brother's house and I could scan his order history and figure out other products that he owns which products should I go and review? Which is awesome because he's purchased so many products and if I only have like a certain amount of time to spend at someone's house, I wanna review the products that are gonna actually make me money. So we can put in whoever we want, we can put in the different um, filters. As you can see, there's lots of filters that you could put. You could put in the total influencer videos that you're looking for, the price of the product, the monthly sales, all these different um, filters here and you can hit confirm and then it'll spit out, you know, just all of the best products or you can just load them all, kind of how I have them right now, sort them and you can figure out, you know, these products right here are not gonna be products that I want to review for whatever reason, whether they don't sell well or they sell well, I can sort it from best to worst and find the best products to review. Now, something to note right here is, again, we have the filters of where my videos are showing up in the top and bottom carousel of the products I purchased. So of the 1,600 products that you know I purchased, um, 35 are in the top carousel, 75 are in the bottom, 129 are in both, 35 are in neither, 18 don't have a top carousel. Don't want this number to be high, that means you're reviewing products where the top carousel doesn't even exist. And then we have a 1,000 products that I have yet to make a video of. now. I, this is across all of these Amazon accounts right here. So it's not like I haven't purchased this many products. Um, some people have, but I personally have, I think my, uh, I think mine was like around like 400 or something like that. Um, but what this does is it shows you of all the products you've purchased, which ones you are yet to review. And this is so cool because I remember when I first started, I was like, okay, I've reviewed everything. There's nothing left to review. I got this and I'm like, oh, I forgot about that product. Forgot about that product. Forgot about that product. I forgot forgot about this one and I'm like, oh, but I don't want to do that one because it doesn't have a top carousel. Or, um, oh, this one I forgot about, but it, it's an, a great opportunity. It sells well and the carousels are super open. So this is super cool to be able to look at, to see all the, the products that um, you have access to that you haven't made a video of. And then this last one is you don't have a video but there is no top carousel. So you're not even gonna wanna mess with these because if you just review these ones, it's just gonna show up right here. And like, for example, let's click on one. As you can see, there is no top carousel. So people can't even watch your video if you upload it. So whether you are just starting or you've been doing this for a while, you will want to scan your order history. That's gonna be like one of the first things that you're gonna wanna do and make sure you have reviewed the products that you already own that are gonna make you the most amount of money. I showed you guys this case study at the beginning of the last video and how you can do a lot less videos and make a lot more money. And it's by doing simple stuff like this and just making sure the products you were reviewing are gonna be products that actually make you money. Now that sums up all the tools for the starter plan. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to click the link down below and use the code LIVE10 to subscribe to ViralView and take advantage of all the tools that I talked about in this video. Again, we got the Product View Chrome extension that's gonna help you find the best products to review. I showed you guys this from earlier. Um, finding good products to review that you're already going to buy. Uh, we got the sales estimates, order history scanner, the storefront spy. Now let's dive into the professional in the next video. We'll see you guys there.